Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. It's Teresa here and today I have a silhouette tutorial for you and this was requested to me by Donna Sutera and I just want to say thank you so much for making the request and Donna wanted to see how I had created this uh, cut file with the photo superimposed into the cauldron itself and so I wanted to show real quick how I did that and it is possible to do that in the silhouette software and I'm going to show you that so first off I want to open up the cut file itself and I want to open up my photo so let me go ahead and do that let me go into where I have that this is a jelly bean soup cut file and I'm gonna just pull up the studio 3 file and hit OK on that and then I'm also going to open up my photo so let me go in here and find that do 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 here we are okay and okay so <laughs> it opens that up full size and let's fix that and we just need it uh, I'm gonna just estimate here eight inches high and let's get it back to zero zero here there we go so that takes care of the photo for this for the moment and then the um, cut file itself so I'm in a cameo not cameo 4 so let me change that and do the 8.5 I'm just gonna do it on an 8 and a half by 11 sheet of paper and that makes it a lot easier to deal with and I don't know why it, it just wants to be weird <laughs> where are we at Okay, there we go. And we also need registration marks, so let's turn those on. And then um, let's get it to closer to the size that we want. So I'm putting this in a seven by eight and a quarter album, so I definitely don't want it to be any bigger than that. Uh, so let's do, and this is just approximate, and that's fine, six and a half by six and a half or so and that'll fit nicely onto a pattern paper background for your album to punch into your album so what you've got now is your cut file size down and you're going to want to go ahead and cut that out with your plain black cardstock to get the um letters and uh if you want the green bubbles i did the green bubbles um, I just printed this all out just like this, printed and cut it uh, just like this so you get the green bubbles, but you may not want those bubbles and so that's fine, however you want to do it, but just make sure that you cut out your letters. <laughs> so because from here on out we're just going to deal with getting the photo onto this cauldron. And so... <clears throat> This gives you a, a cut line, so you can run that through your printer and through your silhouette, but we want to get that actual cut line. So I'm going to go into the trace tool and trace this and give myself another trace outline. Let's do a threshold of 100 and go ahead and hit trace. Okay, and then we can slide that out of the way because I don't need that right now. So from this point on, we're just going to deal with the cauldron. And we're going to do two cuts of the cauldron. We're going to do the photo cut, and then we're also going to do the black outline of the cauldron itself. And so a couple of things that I want to do first. One is click on this trace itself and then go to object and release compound path 
because we want to get rid of the bubbles and all the words. So I'm going to just drag my mouse across all of these letters and you see how they all show up individually now. They've all been, when we hit the release compound pad, that made them all individual trace lines. So I've selected those and I'm going to hit delete and that will get rid of a lot of the things that we don't want. If you accidentally delete too much, just hit the undo button and it'll come right back. And we're just going to lose everything that we don't need. Brutal. <laughs> but again, we just want the, the cauldron at this point. Okay, so that gives us the cauldron, but we still got these two bubbles here that we probably don't want the photo to be in those bubbles. And so when you double click on that trace, you get, the, you go into the point editing tool. And if you click on one of these, dots or one of these points it opens up the point editing tool and you can you can mess around with these cut lines here and so I'm gonna delete that first bubble and I'm just gonna go around the circle and this is a little bit of guesswork but I just want a straight line there so I'm gonna delete until that's gone and I'm gonna do the same thing with the second bubble and just get a kind of more uh, lip kind of line there for that cauldron. And so at this point, this can now be printed and cut from your photo. So what I recommend doing is click on that and do Control C and go over to your photo. Put your, uh, turn your registration lines on and control V and paste that cauldron here and then just position it kind of where you want it you can size the photo down a little bit and this will give you your print and cut for the photo and you know size it size it the way that looks good or works works well for your photo. Um, make sure that you have the aspect ratio locked. So that's this, uh, this lock key right here um, so that your aspect ratio will remain the same for your photo. And don't worry about the little lip that goes up around there, that's fine. Um, we'll work that out when we do the black border. And so at this point, now that you've sized down your image, you've superimposed that cut line, now you can print this whole page with the registration marks, with the photo, and then you can run it through your silhouette and have it cut your photo out, just like that. And once you've done that, then you're gonna go back into your original trace. And we've still, we've still got this selected here, and I wanna do, the black border and so so that the photo kind of has a frame around it so that you know that it's so that the photo looks like it's in that cauldron and so with the cut line selected uh, go into your offset panel and there's two choices here there's offset and there's internal offset and I'll show you, if you click the offset, it goes to the outside. We don't want the outside offset, we want internal offset. And look how that brings up a beautiful second line so that you can cut that again from your black card stock and have that border. And you can adjust the distance. Here I have it at 0.150. Uh, if you want it smaller, you can, well, that just made it larger. <laughs> click, the, click the down arrow, duh, if you want it smaller, but you'll see how it adds that funny little thing here on the handle. Um, so you might not want that 
little handle to look weird like that. So I just made it a little bit thicker there. And you also have, there's another little thing that you need to clean up right here and just go double click back on it and that that will take you back into the point editing tool and you can just delete those little extra dots that you don't need and then this will give you what you need to cut out that little black border and so that's it that's all that it takes for this particular cut file some other cut files might have little differences I know the one I did for the the show Wicked where I superimposed the stage onto the cut file I did that in Photoshop because I blended out the stage roof the ceiling of the stage I blended that out into the cut file itself so that one I did in Photoshop but of course you know your imagination can take you to as many different places as you want to go and in as many different ways that you want to experiment so I hope that's been helpful for you as always if you have any questions for me let me know down below and if there's something specific that you would like for me to share or to talk about or do a tutorial on let me know and I would be happy to provide that if it's something that I feel comfortable and know a little bit about and if I don't know anything about it I will try to find a resource for you to learn because I think that it is awesome to learn how to use the tools that we have and to create these fun layouts that tell these great stories. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.